As virtualization software has become more mainstream, third-party providers have started to offer virtualization inside of the cloud completely off-site. We don't have anything local at our facility, and we can take our applications, our platforms, and our network and move it into the cloud and completely virtualize that aspect of what we're doing as an organization. We're usually not just sending our network into the cloud, but we're sending our network along with our applications and all of our servers so that everything is running in that separate facility. The network and everything associated with the management of that network then becomes completely invisible to us. We simply have one link. It takes us from our facility into the cloud. And now we don't have to worry at all with VLAN configurations or firewall configurations. Everything is done separately because we have the network running as a service at that third party facility. Any changes that are occurring are therefore invisible to us. We have a single link into the cloud, and we really don't care how the networking aspect works once we send that information into the cloud. It's up to the third-party service provider to provide all of that virtualization service for us to provide the service that that network runs on. This gives us some great flexibility, because if that service provider wants to take all of our servers and move them into a data center that has much more capacity and has much more availability on its network connection, it can simply pick up that virtual system and move it technically immediately, very, very quickly deploy it to a new physical location that may be very geographically dispersed from where we started. But we don't even realize it happened. The service provider behind the scenes makes sure that everything now moves to the new facility. So your data center that was in Los Angeles one moment ago, suddenly your servers are running in New York City, and you had no idea that anything changed. And ultimately, you didn't care. All your concern is that that service that's being provided from a network perspective, from an application perspective, is all running the way you would expect. There might be many reasons why you might want to take your network and move it into the cloud and have your network running as a service. One situation might be that you have an application, a very important application. It's used by thousands of people. So it requires a lot of resources to operate. It requires a lot of bandwidth to operate. So instead of having all of those networking resources at your facility with large network pipes with very expensive network connections, you can then put that into the cloud and have the third party manage that. And these third party service providers already have enormous connections into the internet. That way, you don't have to spend the money on the bandwidth and the maintenance of those connections. It's already handled for you. This also allows you to follow the sun. This application during the day is used in North America, but at night isn't used very much. You can virtually move those servers to the other side of the world, quite literally, and have those servers be a little more local to people in those geographical areas. So as your network changes and the application changes throughout the day, you can adjust to those because everything is virtualized in the cloud. You can also expand and contract how much of this you happen to be using. If your application one day is being used by millions of people, let's say it's the tax time, everybody's working on tax information, in the April time frame, it becomes very, very busy. You can easily, with a few clicks of the mouse, allocate more bandwidth, allocate more disk space, allocate anything that you might need at an instant, and suddenly you have more capacity. When the middle of the year comes along and you don't need all of that bandwidth, well, there's no reason to pay for it. You click a few more buttons, and it decreases the requirements there for using network throughput or CPU cycles to something that's a little more reasonable for what your application happens to be doing. And of course, if someday you decide to to pick up everything you're doing at your desk and move to a different location, it makes absolutely no difference to how your applications are going to perform. After all, they're all living somewhere else inside of the cloud. And if someday you need to take the entire section of that cloud and move it somewhere else, it becomes very easy to do that as well. Running your network as a service inside of a cloud provides you with a wealth of functionality. And you may find for your particular applications, it's a perfect fit.